hello i wanted to come on really quick to show you what i did with the 12 by 12 and also the 6 by 6 i took one of the sheets from here and then i cut out one of the 4 by 6s and i put them onto some frames that i had laying around so this one i put life is about the journey so i'm going to put that on my craft room and then this one is enjoy every moment so i think they came out pretty nice i'm gonna uh, hang them on the shelf that i have right there and it will remind me of upcoming summer because the colors are so summery so i hope that gives you an idea of what to do with these sheets of cardstock also i wanted to show you some uh, the crepe paper rosettes that i've been making so i made some more in pink and in white with this with my happy stitch so i made some i could share it in my happy mail and i also made some smaller ones in white and also i had made some in the pink so i'm ready to share those in happy upcoming happy mail so put this to the side I also wanted to share some stuff that I did pick up from my earlier haul. So I wanted to show you what I made. So these are the dies. I'm going to show you first the dies that I used. I believe I used this one, which I showed earlier. I used this one that makes a uh first place a uh, rosette die that one then this one and then these little rosettes from the spellbinders and then this one that i picked up also i cut some out i didn't make the flower or the silhouette of the little girl but i did do the lemon the bows and the deer so um let me move that to the side so this is the llama that i made and i did put a glossy accent i believe that's called hmm where is it oh it's right in front of me yes glossy accents for his little glasses to make believe it's real sunglasses and I put the bow tie and then it came out with some index um, some erase the paper so I just put my marker and I made it to look like if it had his hair there so that's how that looks like and he's pretty big the llama so <clears throat> and then the rosettes I wanted to show you how they cut out so this one and this one and I believe you have to cut them four times or three times to make the rosette and then this one I decorated it so I use a chipboard from my Prima one of the stamps from AliExpress, another chipboard from Prima. Then I made these two flags there and then I just used a, uh, a little enamel heart there that my husband gave me. It, those enamel uh, stones are for your nails or body, but I just used it for, for my uh, little rosette. <laughs> So it's supposed to be 25 body rhinestones, but I'm not using it for my body. He gave me like three packets that he found. So I'm using it for my crafting. So that's 
that's there. <laughs> then, this is the rosette. So this is how they look when you cut them out. They're cute. And it comes with everything. And I did back it up with uh, this, with um, my punch, my my punch that I brought from Dress My Craft from Joann's. So I, I put a punch in the back so that the it could stay glued the rosette. So I think they came out nice. And then this one I decorated it. I just put one of my uh, Prima chipboard hearts and an enamel dot from AliExpress and that's how that came out so. and then did I show you the skate yes the skates so these skates I sewed some sequins in them this little flower sequence are from AliExpress which I'm, which I'm going to show and then I bought some pom-poms from Amazon and so and then this uh, gold paper is from AliExpress also and then I use my pen my uh, Wink of Stella pens and I put the line where it was indented right there so I think the pom-poms were cute because when I used to go ice skating, I used to have pom-poms in my roller skates and my ice skates. I was a pom-pom girl growing up. So, that one I decorated, but this one I decorated even fuller. So I did use my um, We Are Memory Keepers uh, thread, and then um, I put some sequins, some heart sequins, and some other sequins some enamel dots that I have and then I put some hearts from the Spellbinders hearts from a earlier kit that I had and then this one says the best view so this one I did color it with a black marker and then I used my Wink Costello to to put the line through it and I think it came out cute it's a big ice case and again I use my um AliExpress uh, cardstock that I picked up a long time ago. So that came out pretty nice. And then these guys, the lemons and the bows. Let me see if I could get them. Wow, I have a mess here. So. so these are the little deers. I did use my flourish cardstock to cut these out. And then what I did with a marker. I started putting the little dots on it and the dots for the eyes and the nose because it doesn't it doesn't rise the uh, the little indent of the deer it rises only a teeny bit but you can't see it so I put my black marker so that you could really see it so that's the deer and then the little lemons I did cut it out in yellow where are they where are the lemons okay there they go there are the lemons which i think i'm going to put little because it has little dots which i'm gonna put like um black soot on it so that you could it could bring out the little dots to make sure that it's a lemon so that it could look more lemony so that's how that cut out. I cut out some more, but I decorated some stuff, but I'm not ready to show you. Then these are the bows. Which the bows are so 
pretty. I cut them out using my paper that I use. Hopefully it'll hold on one second. My Echo Park dots and stripes. And I also use this paper for the for the ribbons and for the rosettes. Okay. So I cut them out in green. And then you could put like a a pearl or a little enamel dot there or a little uh, stone in the middle there so I cut them in green and yellow and they're pretty big as you can see my, it takes two of my fingers And I cut them in pink. I think a bow in pink is so cute and pretty girlish. <laughs> you can never have too much pink in a, on a girl. Mm -hmm. And I cut them in a darker pink. So I believe, oh, and I used another one from my Flourish cardstock. So, and this was uh, leftover cardstock from my Flourish cardstock. So, and I did these. And then I, these were the first ones that I did. And then I, I saw my cardstock with the dots. And I said, oh, that would be nice to cut them with the little dots on them. And I guess that is it for my little project share. Please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions. And uh, please subscribe. Thank you and take care. Bye.